Hey, Scott again. Kids are having a lot of fun here too. We brought several American tourists along with us today. Uh, they've had a lot of fun for the last several days. The last couple days we've been in Kisumu County. Today, as I said a little earlier, we are at Lake Victoria, second largest freshwater lake in the world. Uh, depths range from 30 feet all the way to 5,000 feet. Tremendous fishing. You like fishing? You're going to want to see this. Uh, look at the landscape behind us, the docks, the, the, the mountainous type ridges in the background. The, uh, the, there, there's other boats out here. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. The boat ride is great. Um, the atmosphere is great. You're not going to you're, you're not going to want to miss something like this. I strongly encourage you. And the other tourists would say, and in fact, I'll interview one here in a second. But they're going to tell you you don't want to miss this. I mean, these are opportunities of a lifetime to enjoy this beautiful sunny weather. It's about 80 degrees. Amazing. So I really encourage you to check out vacation packages in Kisumu area in Kenya, along with others like Masai Mara, and, and uh, really get over here and enjoy this excitement. And it's quite a uh, reasonable cost, probably better than what you think. Don't want to miss this opportunity. But before I cut away and before you click a link, I want to go over here and talk to somebody real quick. So follow me follow me so this is this is Amy I'm, she's gonna make a spot for me so Amy tell us what you think about this vacation so far should other people come here most definitely it has I've experienced things I never thought I would see I just saw a hippo in the water I have never seen before yeah. yesterday I saw a hippo our hippo roar I heard it was incredible Incredible, and so you'd you'd tell your friends and relatives and everybody you know to come here. I would, and I uh, last night I posted on Facebook as well, and I shared some of the sites that we saw yesterday visiting the tribe, as well as the animals we saw. And has anybody like asked you, hey, how can I get there? Um, when I told people I was traveling to Kenya, they were mostly concerned about safety. Are you sure you'll be safe? And I said, I feel very confident in the people that I'm going with and that the experience will be positive and safe. And it has been. It has been. I have not felt um, unsafe but the entire trip. Wonderful. See, you heard it. You're going to want to check these out. Like I said, you're going to want to click that link. So, Lake Victoria. We've been out here for a little while. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've even seen hippos, uh, four or five hippos. Um, the landscape is absolutely beautiful, uh, just amazing. Um, you can get right behind me. I mean, look at look at the the birds, the the docks, boats all over, and the mountainous type ridge behind you. I mean, it's such a picturesque ridge and honestly it, this is a place you've got to visit and this is a place that i got to bring the rest of my group with me dur dom you got to be here um there's no no other place you'd rather be trust me weather's beautiful um bolt ride is awesome so incredible times out here so we're gonna keep cruising probably get ourselves a little something to eat along the way And and guess what? They they don't have a party going on. That's why we're on this boat. They don't have a bar. They don't have anything. And and I, we can dance because we got some nice reggae music. Who wants to dance with me? Come on, let's get up. Get up. Come on. Get the get the. Hey, you're my dance partner. Get up here. Come on, right here. See that's well. This is what we got going on here. What do you got going on? Huh? So what's going on? This is the party boat. This is the party boat right here. See? We're going to go a little further out. 
we'll see what kind of cool things we see. The bartender's gonna serve us up something special. We'll be back. There's three hippos out there. Right there, check it out. Boy. Four hippos. Well, now she know. We know what she thinks of it. She's at. She's hippo watching, kind of like whale watching. A kudo matata for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. A kudo matata. Why am I it? It's what to say at the Why am I see it? Na na na. I'm pretty lucky to be sitting next to these superstars on Lake I'm Victoria. Go to Hollywood. Hello, I'm Walter Weber. <laughs> and I approve this message. <laughs> this is crazy, oh, crazy kids. You're going to want to check out that link below on this video. Find out how you can get here and enjoy this uh, just absolutely beautiful opportunity, uh, time, and relaxation. Thank you to KDR TV for having this great opportunity here.
Fish. What kind of fish is this, by the way? Uh, tilapia. Tilapia. Only, it's like everything is still there. See? It's still there. Scott with the KDR TV. We're at the Kakamega Forest. It's actually my first time being here, and all of the American tourists' for ti first time of being here. Um, you can kind of see right down here. Uh, it's very, well, right here you can see it's a little muddy, but up there, uh, yeah, I probably should have come a little pre more prepared as I wore sandals for hiking. Not a good idea. You can see they're all muddy, but still a lot of fun. So we uh, walked about a half a kilometer. We couldn't drive any further. It rains here every morning and night, and it gets pretty muddy along this road here. Um, bird watching, monkeys are kind of the main two reasons that you'd come here. Uh, lots of unique varieties of both and opportunities to even interact with the monkeys, feeding them, uh, climbing on you, eating bananas or whatnot. So a lot of fun here. The tourists were surprised at the walk at first but seemed to enjoy it. There's little nice clean water stream that's flowing here so you can wash off your boots or whatnot as you're going but once you get in there a lot of fun and uh, um, we're gonna go check it out so we'll find out what the tourists think in a bit too We're back today, uh, Kakamega Forest, guys. Um, if you like hiking, uh, anybody out there likes hiking, well, we hiked about a half kilometer, so not too far. But we, the reason we did, we couldn't drive. So it rains here in the morning and the evening, and so the road, which is a dirt road, uh, gets really muddy, and even these huge four-wheel drive vehicles that we're riding in, which one actually got stuck, we couldn't get to uh, the gate, which is down here. So we walked a little bit, but what we're here to do is do some bird watching and more monkeys. Monkeys are climbing all over you, eating stuff. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to this morning. You can hear the animals just in the background, chickens and stuff, so people are living around here too. So we're looking forward to that. I'm headed to the gate. Let's go check it out. So now we're up by the admission to the Kakamanga Forest, and one of our guests here um, is Don, and I thought we'd ask him what he thought about the walk and the experiences we've had right out of the gate. Well, right out of the gate, it's uh, we had some rain last night, so everything's a little bit muddy here. But uh, being from where I'm at and in the world, we like to four-wheel drive a bit, so that was kind of fun, uh, getting stuck in the mud and getting pulled out. Uh, we had a little bit of a lengthy walk in here, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the weather is great. Um, we're at about you know 69 degrees, 670 degrees maybe. Um, so not too hot, not too cold. Um, lots of uh, we've seen lots of monkeys in the trees, um, lots of birds, wildlife. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful down here, and we're having a great time. Wow. 
A red tailed, which is just walking. A red tailed monkey, a monkey, which is moving just along. They love me. Okay, I don't want to near my camera. So I take this opportunity to fully welcome you to Kakamega Forest. My name is Nancy. I work here as a community tour guide. So this forest is what we call the Kakamega Rainforest, tropical rainforest. So the forest used to stretch all the way to Congo through the West Africa, and by that time the forest was 240,000 hectares of land. So what I mean is that Kakamega Forest has shrunk to what we are having at the moment, which is 23,777.3 hectares of land. So need for high conservation. So it shrunk from the management which was before mining the Kakamega Forest. So since 2005 is when now the management changed from the forest department now to the community. Now the forest department working with the community and the major call is conservation. So the forest is managed by two bodies. You are in the southern part of Kakamega Forest. As I've told you, the forest is 23,777.3 hectares of land. The forest is managed by two bodies. You are in the southern part of the forest, which is managed by the forest uh, Kenya Forest Service. So within the fo Kenya Forest Service, we have the community participation, where we have the community forest association as the umbrella body. So working hand in hand with the forest department, and as you can see, or as our observation, the forest is now as at our observation is more conserved now than before. So what led to the reduction is from due to the population increment. The population, I see it raised up, it contributed to the scarcity of land, so more threat to the forest. So we saw it wise to come up with the community projects to keep them now off from the forest and rely on the forest and let Kakamega Forest to be conserved. So one of them is uh, the tree, small tree nursery raising up, the tree seedlings. So they are raised up by the community members. Whenever there is market, they can sell and have a bread of the day. Kakamega Forest lies on an altitude ranging between 1,500 to 1,750 meters above sea level. When it comes to the temperature normally varies, during the daytime it's 27 degrees Celsius and during the nighttime it's 15 degrees Celsius. Humidity. Humidity now is the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere that is 80 percent. When it comes to the plants, we have plants totaling to 1,000 different species. Some are orchids, uh, some are uh, medicinal plants, and uh, some uh, tr the traditional plants are medicine. Okay, so some are orchids, some are medicine, some are ferns, and generally totaling to 1,000 different species of the plants. Apart from that, I could ask you to watch your steps. We do have. I'll talk about the reptiles, specifically with the snakes. Snakes are more friendly, for your information, guys. <laughs> snakes are more friendly. They are more deep in the bush. They hear your vibration, then they hike more deeper. So it could be by good luck or bad luck. Mm -hmm. You might see it crossing your trail, your path. So no provoking. 
Okay? The monkey right here. Right next to you. Yes. <laughs> so you can just have an observation mm -hmm. to it. Eh? Maybe, where is it? He's right back uh, there, about uh, yeah. 10 meters from us. Just kind of walking along the... Oh, it could be the grayish. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, come alongside here. This is where, so these monkeys normally work as a family of minimum 15 and maximum can get up to 30 and each family is normally led by one dominant male. Okay? So monkeys behave, the blue monkeys behave in a manner like African men. Dominates that family and whoever is defeated keeps on moving to get a weak male somewhere to break a fight to defeat. Okay? And whenever he's ever defeated, it walks alone for the rest of its life. As you can see, the tail normally helps it in keeping balance when moving. When moving. You can try to chew it. Try to chew, to eat. This is our traditional or our local medicine for sore throat, sore throat. So you can try to, to test. Eh? So I, I would like to tell you the name. So is our... So most of the fig trees live parasitic life. So it can grow as a parasite on the same species of a tree or on a different species. Scientific name. Uh. So in Kakamega Forest, we have two streams, uh, not 42 streams, and two rivers. We have Yala River, which pours its water in Lake Victoria, and we have Isiho River from the north. Eh? which also pours its water in Lake Victoria, and we have over 42 streams. In Kakamega Forest, we have a total of 510, 510 different species of butterflies, and a butterfly can lay up to even 200 eggs. Yeah, so it lays the eggs, eggs hatch. Uh, as you know, the life cycle of a butterfly, eh? so the hatch, after hatching, they go to a caterpillar. A caterpillar stage is the li last stage where it develops into a butterfly to fly now in the air. So as you can see, it normally generates a lot of income to the community in that you can also sell the egg. Huh? To, uh, to can sell it to somebody and you get income. How long does the butterfly live? It, uh, I can say approximately it can take even um, two weeks, three weeks, then it dies. Does it feed when it, so in the butterfly stage? Yeah, it feels, uh, and most uh, active, it's more active uh, during the flying stage. But it's common during the uh, active stage is the caterpillar stage and the flying stage. But mostly when it's still young, it's inactive. Does it eat as a butterfly? It, it, it eats. It nectar? It, it mostly nectar, and apart from that, we have the dead, f animal, uh, dead food, like the poo, mostly is what it feeds off. Yeah. Good morning, this is KDR TV. We are in Kakamega Forest. Kakamega Forest is found in uh, Western Province, the Kakamega County. Uh, we are pretty happy that uh, we've been give a, given a tour in the forest. Lots of birds here, lots of bat, uh, butterflies, uh, lots of monkeys in here. We are pretty happy that the place is very serene, the place is really very cool. It looks like um, uh, we are in paradise. So we'd love m many people to come and visit this site to enjoy for themselves. Our hour in the jungle has been a serene break. Um, 
the canopy has provided us shade and it um, makes my heart um, love this country even more. It is truly a fascinating place and I am so glad to be here and have shared this with uh, the Kenyan people. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking up at the blue monkey that is right above us. Um, the uh, tour that we've done here in the rainforest is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's incredible the variety of, of plants and animals and, and everything that's here. Uh, our tour guide has been just fantastic explaining everything to us. So um, this is uh, one of our favorite stops um, along this, this journey that we've made. Um, it's just incredible. If anybody ever gets the chance to come here, please do. It's, it's fantastic. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, <laughs> well, I got to think of the name of it, the Cucamonga Forest. Cucamonga Forest, the Cucamonga Forest. Um, yeah. Oh, on the Mama Tree tra Trail here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Show off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My name is Bernard and I'm having guests. Uh, my friend here, Amy, uh, I would like Amy to really tell us uh, what uh, what's her expectations or what has she really seen in Kakamega Forest right now. So on this walk, I have seen uh, two varieties of monkeys of the seven that are here. I have also seen at least a half a dozen variety of, bu of butterflies, and I've learned that there are, are over 400 butterflies here in the forest. I have been introduced f to plants that can be used as toothpaste and toothbrush, and I've learned of the big five trees I, that I did not know existed prior to coming here. This is a beautiful um, forest, <laughs> and I am thankful to have had the opportunity to visit it. Flies here, yeah. <laughs> but we have chased them away. Fortunately, we've chased them away. Hi, I'm Jordan. I've been living in Kakamega Forest for 13 months now, and it's a really great place with a lot of biodiversity, um, and it seems like they have some good conservation programs going here, which is good because this is the last patch of tropical forest in Kenya, so we really need to protect it. Um, and yeah, I mean, the people are great. The monkeys are great. I spend most of my time in the forest with the monkeys, so I know them pretty well. I ha I've made a ton of friends here in the past year, especially with the forest guards, where um, since we live right next to each other, we're neighbors. Um, and I think they're doing a really great job protecting the biodiversity of the forest. Uh, the people in the surrounding vill villages have become some of my really close friends, and I'll definitely have to come back and visit them um, because it's going to be hard to go home and leave all my friends here. So. What about the food? The food? Love Ugali, <laughs> but chapati is my favorite. Can always go for a good mandazi. Um, and sukuma, I feel like I need to bring sukuma home. What is sukuma? The, 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 uh, yeah, we can, yeah, collard greens yeah. or kale. Yeah. Um, but they don't make it in America like they make it here in Kenya. <laughs> uh, yeah, so blue monkeys are a type of Gwenin species. Um, there's another species of Gwenin in the rainfor in Kakamega Forest, it's called the red tails. But we just study the group of blue monkeys. So we have seven different groups of blue monkeys throughout different places in the forest and over 200 blue monkeys, blue monkey individuals that we know by face recognition. So basically we study their behavior all day long. So blue monkeys live in a multi-female social unit with one adult male that copulates with all of the females. Um, they're omnivores. I've seen them eat rats, small chickens, um, fruit, leaves, sap. Uh, so they pretty much eat about anything that they can get their hands on. Um, they're diurnal, so they only are active during the day and they pretty much stay asleep at night. And they definitely interact with the other monkey species in the forest, especially during predator responses. So if they 
produce a predator call. You can hear all the other species of monkeys calling in the forest as well. Um, so it's a really interesting social unit and, um, and just really interesting species of primate. Hi, I'm Izzy. Um, I'm just jo visiting Jordan here at Kakamega Forest. Um, so I've only been in Kenya for three days, but it's been amazing. It's a really beautiful forest. Um, everyone I've met has been super welcoming and friendly and informative. And yeah, I also love Sukuba. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish we had it in the U.S. and also in Uganda, where I've been for the past several months working. There, I want to try some. Hold this. I want to try some. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, <laughs> 